What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some really cool stuff. Today we're going to be using the LoRa radio protocol and MeshTastic to send messages between two devices off the grid, as well as create and use a dark web chat server. So the first things first, let's go ahead and show you how to create a dark web chat server. First things first, you're going to need to use Onion Share. If you don't have that already, go ahead and check out my channel. I have videos on how to set that up. Uh, once you open the application, you're going to go on Start Chatting. Then you're going to click, I would you always click Always, so you can always reuse the server. Um, but don't worry, as soon as you shut down the server, it deletes everything. It gets lost forever. Um, so we're going to hit that, and then I already have one running. This way we can see it uh, better, this way on the wait for the boot up or anything. So once it's running, you're going to get these two things down here. You're going to get the Onion share address you're going to copy that and paste it to the tor browser which you would do right over here paste it there and then it will ask you for a pass key which you also get right here and you just copy it so then once you get there this is this is the server that i created just a second ago and uh right now we're gonna send a message it's literally this easy now whoever has this onion address in the pass key you guys can go on here and talk and uh, have off-grid communications with the dark web. Like, it, it's pretty cool that there this can be deleted completely, and this is really cool for people that are like whistleblowers or uh, they wanna just talk to somebody or they live in a country where they don't have freedom of speech. Like, you can open up and do stuff like this. That's why the dark web is not all bad. There's some good things that you can do. So this is completely anonymous. Uh, you can change your name to whatever you want, and as, as soon as I shut down the server, all this stuff gets deleted forever. So it's really, really cool. Um, so now let's move on to another cool like off-grid ghost system here uh, is going to be this these Mesh-tastic devices. Now I'm a big fan of Mesh-tastic. Um, this is using uh, a low radio frequency called LoRa. Um, and you can, it's very, uh, you can't fit too much data on it. That's why you can't call or anything, but you can send text messages uh, between them within one to three miles. So depending on the line of sight and, and how good your antenna is, et cetera. So, so this device right here is the Heltec V3. Uh, both of these devices are actually. This phone is connected to this device right here, and this phone is connected to this device right here. So think of this as like mini tiny cell towers, uh, your own personal cell tower. So nobody reading your texts. It's completely off-grid and can be completely encrypted. You can have encrypted channels or you can have non-encrypted channels. So I'm going to just show you right here. I'm going to send a whole bunch of random stuff. And there you go. I, we just sent a message to this device, to this device, to here. Off the grid. No cell towers were involved at all and just what just happened. So this is really good because, God forbid, there's some kind of a natural disaster or some kind of emergency or, or God forbid, a uh, terrorist attack. You can have an off-grid system. Or if you're hiking in the woods, you don't have cell service, you and your friend have one of these things and you're still able to communicate with one another. I like it because it's off the grid and uh, it could be used for good. I mean, even, let's say, for example, a, a hurricane, the, all the cell towers are down and you need help, you need to communicate with your loved ones or whatever, you can set this up. And the more you have of these devices, you can build a mesh network and, you can, and it, it'll keep going. So like, say like it only reaches one to three miles, but if you put one every three miles, it will just hop to the next node and you can reach out to further uh, devices. So... And that's it. This is a quick video. I just wanted to show you a couple cool ghost off-grid stuff you can do. Uh, I mean, the dark web stuff, I mean, you can technically on the internet for it, but it's this is completely private. We're, we're on the dark web using the Tor browser, um, using Onion Share. We, we started, we created a chat room and we also used it live. So, and again, as soon as I disable, okay. boom, and it's gone forever. It's like it never existed. This video is for educational purposes only. I don't condone any legal activities, but freedom of speech is very important. Freedom of speech is very important, as well as just safety. I mean, who knows? Maybe you need to use one of these things one day to communicate with someone you love or something, or who knows? But all right, if you like this, uh, these types of videos, please leave a like. Uh, also, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you in the next video.